Hello friends, in this topic we are going to discuss about kinematics of rectilinear motion in which we are going to discuss about dependent motion. This presentation is made by Mrs. N.N. Zawan, Mr. M.A. Patwardhan and Mr. Y.D. Kutik. Dependent motion. The learning objective of this topic are to understand what is dependent motion and at the end of the topic students will able to relate position, velocity and acceleration in case of dependent motion. When objects are connected to each other by inextensible cord wrapped around pulleys, the position, velocity and acceleration of objects are related. The equation relating these quantities can be obtained by choosing a reference point or a reference line and specifying the coordinates of connected objects as SA and SB. That, that means in terms of its displacement. The total length L of the cable is then written in terms of these variables. Then this equation is differentiated with respect to time to obtain equation relating velocity. The equation is further differentiated with respect to time to obtain equation relating acceleration. The sign convention for velocity and acceleration have to be chosen with reference to chosen origin. Motion toward origin as taken as positive and away from origin is taken as negative. The constant length including length wrapped on the pulleys can be neglected as their derivative will be zero and they will not affect the equations relating velocities and accelerations. In this example, the moment of block A downward along the inclined plane will cause corresponding moment of block B up the inclined plane as block A and B are connected by inextensible cable as shown in the figure. Position coordinates SA and SB can be defined from fixed stratum line extending from the center of the along each inclined to block A and B. If the total length of the string is constant, that is L, the position coordinates SA and SB can be written mathematically as SA plus SB equal to L or SA plus SB plus L equal to capital L, where L is the length of the inextensible cable wrapped around the pulley and SA and SB represent the positions of block A and block B. Differentiating above equation for the displacement or position with respect to time, we get the velocity equation that is VA plus VB equal to 0. Further differentiating the equation for velocity, we get the equation for acceleration that is AA plus AB equal to 0. Let's try to solve a numerical on dependent motion. The block B has a constant downward acceleration of 0.8 meter per second square. Determine the speed and acceleration of block A 5 seconds after system starts from rest. Refer figure. In this figure we can see Block A and B are connected by inextensible cable which are moving over a pulley. So, the moment of block A and B are dependent on each other. For example, if block A moves down, definitely block B will move up. Similarly, if block B moves down, block A will move up and vice versa. To solve this numerical, masses of the blocks are given as 30 kg. Ma is equal to Mb equal to 30 kg. Here, if we write the equation for block A and B for their positions, in terms of their position, we get the equation 2xA plus xA equal to L. Where xA is the position of block A, xA is the position of block B and L is the total length of the cable. Here, as the two ropes are connected with the block A, here the equation becomes 
to x a. Differentiating this above equation, equation equation number 1, we will take it to start. We get the logic equation that is 2 b a plus b b equal to 3. Again differentiating the equation number 2, we get the equation for acceleration that is 2 a a plus a b equal to 0. As we know, the block B is moving downward. If we, are, if we consider this fixed pulley as our reference axis, with respect to, as per our sign conventions, with respect to our reference axis, block B is moving down. So, it is moving away from the reference axis. And as per our sign convention, if the object is moving away from the reference axis, we take it as a negative. So, here, acceleration of B, we take it as a negative minus 0.8. From this equation, we will get the acceleration of A. Now, we are interested to find out speed of block A. So, we have uniform acceleration equation. BA is equal to UA plus C. Where BA is the final velocity, UA is the initial velocity, A is the acceleration of block A and T is time taken. So, as we know, the block A is starting from rest. Its initial velocity is 0. Acceleration we have found out that is 0.4. Substituting that in the equation and multiplying it by the time, we get the velocity for A that is equal to 2 